In today's video, I will be bringing you through my settings for Sea of Thieves, which have helped me enjoy the game, be better at the game, and overall improve my experience over the thousands of hours of playtime. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more Sea of Thieves content? If you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. I just want to stress that these are my personal preferences and by no means are compulsory into giving you the best gameplay experience and is not going to make you the best Sea of Thieves player in the world. That title belongs to me. So to access your settings and the majority of settings, not just the ones you can access when you're actually in the game, click settings at the bottom of the screen on the main menu. For our first selection of settings, we're going to run through my keybinds on keyboard and mouse. I don't actually use controller at all, so all of those settings are going to be default. There's only a couple of changes within the keyboard and mouse section that are of any substantial change. The first one is actually down here, the bucket, food, and wooden plank. Now, these are kind of the main things you're going to be using when you're PvPing. The food is probably the most important one out of the two. Uh, obviously you have your standard radial when you're playing but for the most part you kind of want to quick access food and if you use this key bind over and over it will actually switch between your food in order so what i like to do is run like a series of decent food and then i can use this button and cycle through it while i'm pvping and it basically allows me to choose the food what i want in the moment without going on the radial then changing it there as for the others obviously you're going to be using your bucket a lot when you're pvping and things and obviously wood as well so they're they're the three keybinds on my mouse that is super accessible but definitely the most important one is going to be your food slot are you looking forward to the next big sea of thieves update worried your pc might not be able to handle it well look no further than longtime partner of the channel apex gaming pcs from swabby quartermaster and captain choose from any of the three reasonably priced machines to best suit your needs like some of the components in the Quartermaster build, but want to upgrade the components that matter to you? Well, I'm pleased to tell you that all PCs are completely customizable from the components to accessories. Build a PC that suits you. So click the link at the top of the description or pin comment now to find out more. Moving on, obviously I don't use controller. Uh, but our input settings, I don't change anything in inverted settings, but our sensitivities. Now, the mount sensitivity, I run at three. Blunderbuss is at seven, just because where I use my loadout is typically a blunderbuss and eye of reach combo. The blunderbuss I use normally for like quick kind of flicks to move people around and try and shoot when people were jumping around with a wider spread. So having it higher just allows me to kind of make those snap movements a bit more. And the eye of reach itself, that is only at 3.3 and that is just because it's quite quite snappy anyway so you don't really need to change it any higher than that especially with your mouse sensitivity set at three anyway if you're copying these settings and then flintlock i don't really use too much so i'm not sure if this is default or not or if i've changed it the other one is the trident of dark tides now normally this is set like really low i think like one or something but it's so slow to use so you definitely want to bump this up like a lot so definitely change this for sure moving over to gameplay now i don't know what the default settings are for the input but i've obviously had these for so long that i can't quite remember and i don't want to reset the default just for science but these are my settings the re uh, reduced hold to interact this basically allows you to if you're gonna pick something up it basically makes it so that when you press the key that it does the whole action so it's really useful for loot sprinting if you're running, picking up loot, running, dropping it, picking up, it helps with that. For the most part, this is definitely helpful regardless of that because there's moments in time where you are going to want to pick something up while you're still moving so or swimming so definitely pop this on the rest i mean these are completely optional the miscellaneous the automatically float in water i definitely not worth doing this just because sometimes you're not always going to want to go to the top of the water you always sometimes you're going to dive below ships and things like that so definitely have this off the surfer authoritative hit markers now i think sometimes hit markers like hit markers don't necessarily mean that like your enemy is dead or something like a skeleton is dead so i i just keep this off and then if you are suffering with uh, your tutorial prompt 
animations and things like that turn this off <laughs> for sure and then auto vote uh, auto vote on voyages turn this off as well because sometimes you're gonna put down voyages an accident and if you're solo and like in the middle of the ocean and you click on a dive voyage that is the wrong one or you can change your mind you won't have the option it will just dive so turn this off moving over to our hud all of the rest of the settings are completely optional as well the only ones i definitely recommend changing is the season notifications pirate milestone notifications and ship milestone notifications you are going to get so many of these that it just becomes a hindrance because sometimes you'll be doing something uh, like pvping or something just something meaningful and this will display on the screen that you've just done something and un uh, leveled up a, a milestone which doesn't really mean anything so it just gets in the way so i would personally recommend turning all of these on and disabling season and milestone notifications moving over to your video settings a lot so they've just added direct uh 3d version 12 so i i run on 12 I, i've heard there's been issues with 11 so i just keep it on 12 and multi-core rendering leave on um just helps slightly with performance not really massively uh, indicative of any performance gains or anything like that moving over to graphics field of view max if you have it any lower than this genuinely it, you can get quite nauseated when you're sailing things like that so definitely bump this up the rest all on myth mythical uh, apart from some of the particle stuff particles animations and mesh buffers uh, i think i like my game to look pretty but also there's some things which is just completely unnecessary i could pop these on and you know but it wouldn't really impact my machine but definitely they're just not necessary at all so these settings help my game look pretty whilst also not just having unnecessary stuff these ones the visibility stuff these are actually quite important to change your blur there's some chests in the game like ghost chests which when you have this blur on it makes them so janky to look at and horrible and there's like weapons in the game that look horrible turn this on and disable that it it just it saves your eyeballs a lot and then screen shake this will help when you're on the harpoon and cannon if you're on the harpoon and cannon and firing that it tends to do a little bit of a screen shake and it can kind of change where you're aiming and things like that it's very disorientating so definitely change that moving on to audio settings all the proximity stuff you kind of want this directional so that you can hear if people are using in-game chat you can hear where it's coming from and it's not just one dimensional there's one other setting in here uh, the additional wheel turning sounds this helps so much in terms of hearing where your wheel is that i uh, since it has become a feature i cannot turn it off it genuinely helps in kind of gauging where my wheel is actually turned at rather than just kind of viewing it and previously that was how you did it you kind of just had to guess but now you don't have to guess anymore you can kind of gauge how many clicks right or left your wheel has been turned apart from that that is pretty much it the only other thing i recommend changing is again guild notifications you're just going to get a lot of these and it's really unnecessary so probably change that but aside from that that is literally my settings that have helped me progress through this game enjoy the game and just overall have an incredible experience playing this awesome game but yeah these settings are going to be practical they're going to make your game look good and essentially just carry you through and having awesome sessions within sea of thieves again there's a couple of crucial changes in this that you're going to want to change but then a lot of it is personal preference it's just understanding what settings do and things like that and again i don't have any expertise on controller settings or anything like that because i've rarely use the controller throughout the whole time of playing this game maybe once or twice when but yeah that is pretty much it if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe for more content and leave a like on the video if you're looking for more sea of thieves content there is a video on your screen right now